Good day, everyone. Peace. Shout out and blessings to everyone that follows me on YouTube, that listens to my message. This is a very sad message that I want to talk about. This is about former ER actress Vanessa Marquez. She played on ER and she's done many shows. And this article is from 2018 here. Let's see here. This story is like a real sad story. Police shot this woman and killed her. Okay. Now, this is coming from Variety.com. The story is written by Gene Mattis. And it says here, if I can get this thing to scroll Vanessa Marquez, actress best known for her role as a nurse on ER, was shot and killed by South Pasadena Police Thursday. Authorities confirmed on Friday. Officers were called to Marquez's home on the 1100 block on Fremont Avenue by a landlord to check on her welfare. When the officers arrived around 12 p.m., she was suffering from seizures and appeared unable to take care of herself. Officers called out paramedics and a mental health clinician and continued to talk with her. After about 90 minutes, Marquez, 49 at the time, armed herself with a BB gun and pointed it at the officers caused them to open fire, said Sheriff's Lieutenant Joe Mendoza. South Pasadena, a, a municipality separate from neighboring Pasadena, is eight miles northeast of downtown Los Angeles. Now, Mendoza told reporters that Marquez appeared to be going through mental problems and seemed to be gravely disabled. This is really, really sad. I'm going to see if I can go on with the story. She appeared as Ana Delgado, in Edward James almost starring film, Stand and Deliver, that movie I've seen, I liked it, back in 1988, and in 27 episodes of ER as Nurse Wendy Goldman. Her other credits include the series Malcolm and Eddie, which I've seen her in, and Wise Guy, which i also seen her in, because I was a kid when I was watching Wise Guy and Malcolm and Eddie. Last October, his Edge was blitzed by star co-star George Clooney after complaining about racial discrimination and sexual harassment. Clooney helped blacklist me when I spoke up about harassment on ER. Women who don't play the game lose career. I did, she wrote on Twitter. Clooney issued a statement at the time saying he had nothing to do with the casting on the show. I had no idea Vanessa was blacklisted, he said. I checked her word. I was not a writer or a producer or a director of that show. I had nothing to do with casting. I was an actor and only an actor. If she was told that I was involved in any decision about her career, then she was lied to. The fact that I couldn't affect her career is only surpassed by the fact that I wouldn't. Marquez also wrote on social media that she was suffering from immune disorders, including cellular disease. She said several times that she was diagnosed at terminal, was suffering from chronic pain, and was homebound. Marquez had alleged that she was grumped on the set of ER. Well before the Me Too movement last fall, she claimed that she, when she complained to the producers, she was exiled. I was blacklisted and my career was over at 26, she wrote on Facebook in January 2017. Why are women afraid to speak up at the time? Because everything they've ever worked for is ripped away from them for being a goddamn victim and expecting protection. She also wrote extensively about her health problems and said she was entering that Noma Desmond stage that some actors do, watching their old stuff on TV. A person only has so much strength, and I'm afraid I've used mine up, she wrote. Why couldn't my dream have lasted for more than those few years? It's really, really sad that this happened to Vanessa Marquez. No one's really talked about this story, um, that um, that Latina stuff as actress has suffered. I've watched her on TV. She's a really good actress, and I've seen her, but I never knew that she was going through this. Um, I think that we need to express and to talk about these issues more, especially women that are actually really legitimately facing these issues. Not women that are not suffering from, but women like her that actually did suffer. She had disability disorder, sickness disorder that she was going through, and she was killed by the police. I can tell you this, being the fact that she had a gun, they said that she had a gun, and they sh they could have found other ways to disable it from her without shooting her and killing her. But this is how this is how it is in our community. Whether you're black, Latina, any person of color, black or Latino, I can definitely say that they don't really care. They police are more than happy to shoot and execute you, no questions asked. 
But hopefully you guys are watching this video. If you do watching this, if you are watching this video, please share this information out here. Because sad to see is how it's system arcades like this. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back to you in the next video.